Gina Scarberry and Hannah Carlson are here to talk about a live art exhibition in Bull Shoals, Arkansas, coming up when? It's going to be the 21st, this Saturday. Oh, this Saturday, okay. We're okay. start at, huh? at uh, noon, and it's going to go until 4. And we'll be featuring the artist that we had here once before, David Geist. Okay. He was the spray oh, yeah. paint artist mm -hmm. that yes. we did. Yeah. He did this one because of deer season, too, so it's pretty neat oh, yeah. that now that we're in deer cool. season. And uh, this is her um, art gallery that we're going to be doing it at. It's Earth Folk Artism Gallery. And you are the? She's the owner. The owner. This yeah. is yeah. Hannah Carlson. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, yes, what kind you. of artwork do yeah. you do? What's your specialty? Well, you know, honestly, I do not personally have a specialty. Okay. My mother was an, art, uh, an artist. My sister is an art teacher back east. I like making things pretty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of do the buildings, making buildings pretty and... Yeah. So you just look at things and you say, well, that's pretty drab. I'm, I'm going to spruce it up. A so. little bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she supports a lot of the artists. She does okay. it on consignment. And she'll have them come in and they can bring their stuff. And especially cool. through the winter months and the way things have been going, and they will have it be able to sell online. Mm -hmm. We'll take pictures of art and, and put it there at the gallery, cool. and yeah. we can sell it online as well. But it's in Bull Shoals, Arkansas. Bull Shoals, Arkansas. Arkansas. Bull Shoals, Arkansas. Uh -huh. She's going to feature some things. Here. Yeah, this is one of the artists. Um, yeah, this is Lenny, one of the gals that is. I have three gals that has helped on, hopped on board. Oh, that's that's to a help leather, keep the leather. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm too old and tired. Yeah. But this is one of our that's artists, cool. Lenny. Nice. And uh, mm -hmm. so this is one of the three women that have really stepped in and that working with a it. Discounted because of the hole in it. I'm. I'm <laughs> assuming. Well, and you said you were wearing. Perhaps, yes, this, this is one also that I have on Lenny, here. Yeah. This is one that was done by Lenny also, yeah, right? That's right, yeah. We have all, the gallery was not because of me showing my artwork. It was more because I saw so many talented and amazing people in this area when I moved here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's for the people. It's mm -hmm. for the people to have a place to put their creations. Okay. That some are, some are even not able to get to the craft shows, like myself. You can't do these shows yeah. anymore. So you, so you have a building with your work in it, but you also... Oh, oh no, uh, I'm not doing oh, anything oh, okay. for me. Oh, when I okay. did the gallery, it was heart, heart God inspired for the people, for all the creative oh, okay. people okay. that I saw their stuff sitting in garages and barns, but not out to the public. And I said, this town needs an art gallery, and so be it. Okay. That's what so, happened. So um, mm -hmm. I started it. That's why I say I'm more the keeper than the owner. Oh, okay. I don't feel like I own it. I feel like it's for the people and for the community and for the state mm -hmm. to keep a building alive that, instead of having it die. So I'm <laughs> trudging in there, and, and these three women You're on a mission. on. It's a community effort. It's good. And Gina has been a gift to us with this type of thing. And again, you folks, right. thank you. You're Just welcome. keep it going right. for the people. Tell us about these other items here. The oh, well, uh, Marina is our potter see. and uh, our wood stick carver and artist and many other things. That's the pottery. And then uh, the basket, we had to bring a little retail in just to keep the bills paid, <laughs> you know. Sure, yeah. uh, and we're right. always looking for new people, folks, yeah. And then Becky Dale is our third gal that has hopped on board with me. Everybody has hopped on board, do not get me wrong. These gals are working one day a week, so I don't have to, you know, I'm not up to it, so we're working together to keep it alive. So this is a watercolor? Is that that is a watercolor by Miss Becky. I said I wasn't gonna do last names, because out of respect, but That's yeah. Fine. Um, That's okay. And I'm a first name type of gal. That's okay. That's cool. <laughs> All right. All right. And David, we're honored to have him coming. Yeah, so we're yes, really tell us honored to have you had David. Something, uh, well, about the PTS. This, we're trying to make it an awareness because a lot of these firefighters, he's an ex-firefighter, I have a few police officers and military men that are looking to, to solve their, not necessarily solve, but refocus their attention to an art or a craft. There's my guy, you might enjoy this. He's a, he's doing foraging, and this oh, is a straight wow, razor wow. that's made oh, out that's of cool. out of a wrench. And he goes through PTSD too, and he's up at all hours of the mm -hmm. night. And so I'll find him out in the forage foraging. And David said that he as well. He was a fire chief there in Cotter, and uh, he also volunteered out in Salesville that he finds a lot of escape in his artwork. It, it's a way of they releasing their pressure sure. and 
putting their anxiety into something else and mm -hmm. that, so they're creating okay. art that way and we would like to do another uh, get together once we get through all of this mm -hmm. of a, a PTSD awareness okay. for okay. for veterans or our, our uh, police officers or our chief police or chief of uh, fire departments that mm -hmm. need an outlet and a place to go and I'd like to have a community group meeting where we can go and everybody share their art and what better place to do it than at the gallery? Right. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. And the property is available for many things. You know, I'm, I've been trying to give lots away, just to you know, uh, again, encourage small business. We, we have some pictures of the inside. I, I guess that's. Oh, you yeah. Can you see that, uh, you see that on the part, the left? Part I of the have a. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And is that I got to tell you. Is that the A-frame right there? It right? is. Yeah. The okay. old A-frame. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It used to be a, a real estate office. That was that's Mr. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He was very good to to me to allow me to you know get well, in there and get this done and I had so much help I mean I've been gifted with the help that I've had in this mm -hmm. there I go <laughs> in this community yeah See, it's so, cool. so um, yeah this is what happens but it's, well, that's been a, a, it's a work in progress all this is local artists and that's it's right probably a good time before Christmas to mm -hmm. well you know yeah. shop locally mm -hmm. yeah we hope so I, I was telling folks with all this virus Thursday I you know I worked Thursday I switched my day this weekend or last week and I sat there on the porch having amazing conversations and if that's all we're doing there then that's okay I'm gonna keep her going because it's not in fact it's serendipitous these gals with the abuse and uh, when we're gonna say when it makes money it's just gonna go back to vets and the women's organizations right. such as this well, good. Right. Um, good. I'm too old and tired to do the nonprofit but I can be nonprofit without getting the benefit that's okay you right. know so we want right. to make money to give it away right. yeah. and then that's why <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm there, mm -hmm. and for the people. Yeah, yeah. there's well, a lot of talented people in this area, man. I love yeah. this state. Well, good. good. Well, <laughs> yeah. the live art exhibit is coming up this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday. Yes. From Saturday. ten to two, is that right? Uh, or Twelve, 12 to, to four. Twelve to four. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Twelve to four. And, and, and for more information, can someone contact somebody? Uh, yes, the number is 276 221 We got a little dyslexic on that. It's actually 267. Oh, no. Okay. So, and it is on the uh, web page. We do have Two, a Facebook six, page, seven. right? Yeah, Earth Folk Artist and Gallery Facebook okay. page. The information is on there as well. Now, the, okay. the, yeah. the, the art will be all inside, or will some of it? It is all uh, for the probably 20 to 25 different local artists during the Yeah. Room. David will be outside. It is literally cans of paint, is from what right. I Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember that. Yeah. Really and, remember. and being mindful of, of today's new world that um, is going on at the moment. So sure. we'll be outside and keeping okay. distance and right. you okay. know, being mindful well, about okay. all this we'll stuff. Well, come out and <laughs> enjoy it. It's just uh, in Lakeview, right? It's Bull Shoals, technically. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah we're yeah, right, right, right across the street from the right? Exxon, right down the street from the theater. All right. So we're yeah. there. Come out enjoy yourself. Thank Thanks you. so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you guys for having Thank us you. Again. Thank you very much for having us. Up next, we have Revere the Cat, who was here last week, but we've got an interesting story to tell about the cat and what's happening at the Ozark Humane Society. So you'll want to know about that. Stick around. Stay with us. You're watching 726.